Okay, I'm going to show you how to create um, a Google um, Slides poster or a poster using Google Slides. It's going to seem complicated. I'm going to try to take it slow. It's really not complicated, but I'm using Google Slides because it's really hard to use images using Google Docs, which you may have already noticed. All right. So you go and you're going to have to uh, toggle through a couple tabs. So just bear with me. Okay. Um, go through, go through the waffle, go through your drive. And you're going to go new and slides. Okay. Let me do that again. New and slides. Okay, and it comes up because it's a presentation. It's going to come up as landscape, which, of course, for like a poster or graphic organizer, for the most part, you're going to want portrait, right? So get rid of this because you're going to want some space. I tend to right-click here and cut, right-click here and cut um, because I want the blank space, right? Then you're going to want a portrait. So the way you do that through Google Slides is you go File, Page Setup, Custom, and then you go eight and a half by 11 because that's the size of a portrait page, right? Okay, so now if you want a border, what I do is I open a different tab and let's say I want a fancy, or let's say I want a cool border. I want a cool border. Okay, so let's say I want, I don't know, this one. That one looks sort of, Cool. Okay, so I'm going to right click, copy, right click, paste. There's, I mean, there's other ways that you can do that. Let's say, what if you were doing like a Charlotte's Web handout you were giving the kids or a letter going home to mom and dad? Wouldn't this like be totally awesome? And so then I just scroll over with it like this and then like that. Okay, so there's my border. You guys thought I was a magician. I'm not. It's called Google Images. Pretty cool. Then I'm going to insert my text. I, genu I generally try to use Word Art because I can fill it up with fancy um, font. So here you go. I'm going to insert Word Art. And here I'm going to put um, Book Club. Okay? Because I was talking about Charlotte's Web. So for the font... Uh, let me see if I can find something that looks maybe, I don't know, webby. Since we're going with this, um, I'm going to keep going. Let's do shadows into, I don't know, I'll go with that, okay? So I'm going to go the inside maybe can be purple. And the outside line color can be black. And the outside weighting maybe can be like that. And then I can make it like this. Okay, so like, I don't know if I like that font. So let's just do Princess Sophia. And all I did, if I went through that fast, all I did to make this bigger or smaller, there's nothing that's going to size it. It's just this. That's the only thing that sizes on word art. Okay, and to change the color, I just did this is for the fill. And this is for the line color. And this is for how thick the line color is. So again, that's insert word art okay and then you can move it wherever you want so book club okay then i'm going to insert um a text box okay um every monday and friday um beginning um next week all are welcome um don't let me see let's say i want to be clever don't get caught in the web okay something like that okay so i'm going to highlight the whole thing because it's boring font it's not centered all that stuff right so i'm going to go back here and i'm going to pick maybe this font this one shadows into light i don't see all my typical toolbars for centering so i'm going to go in more and there it is so i'm going to go center i want it to be bigger font so i'm going to go 24 bold let's go a little bit bigger let's say 36 and i just get to drag it and i can make it be like this Is that kind of cool pretty cool you know flyer that i did literally in oops i'm going to edit and then 
do that. I moved the wrong thing that I did in seconds, like really seconds. Okay. So I want maybe a picture of a spider. Okay. So I'm going to go under over here and I'm going to put spider. I'm going to go on images. Now, um, eh, maybe I'll do spider. Let me find a cool one. I don't want a creepy one. So I might do spider clip art. Okay. Because I want something kind of cute, not scary. So if I want cutesy, I'm going to put clip art. Okay. So let's say I did this one because that looks like a Charlotte Webby thing. Now, if you don't want the white box around it, you just want the spider. This is what you do. You're going to go under images and search tools. Under the drop down under color, click transparent. Okay. So here, let's, you might get different kinds of images that come up, but let's say, let me pick one I really like here. I hate spiders, so I really hate being on this page. But let's say I pick, um, I don't know. I'm just going to go with, I have to hurry up and pick one because it's creeping me out being on this page. I'll just pick this one. Okay. So let's say I just pick this one. And you see how around it, it's got all the gray and white checkers. That means you're not going to get the big white box. You're just going to get this. So I'm going to right click, um, copy image. Let me go back here, right click, paste. And then I just use this to get it where I want it to be. And then I can just have that hanging just like that. That's it. Flyer's done. And I look like I'm an artist and I'm not. Okay. Now, if you want to send it to print shop and you don't want things to move, you can do file, download as a PDF. You can even download it as a picture and, and then just make it like a logo and you put it in the upper right hand corner of as a bookmark or something that you're doing for kids, right? Super cool. So there you go. Have fun.